up, I call out a walk. I pray this devil died uh, and get every evil thing the Lord got to get. And listen, I know you look at us in the state we in right now. Come your child. Come your child. Come your child. I know you look at us in the state we in right now. Black people on drugs and we suffering and dying. And I know it seems like you can do whatever you want to this people. I know it seems like this, but the time for glorifying yourself is soon at an end. Go, go ahead. Say what? Uh huh. Hey, 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 hold on. Say what now, Cap? Right. The white. Now, hold on. This is a white man here, right? Raise your hand so everybody see. This white man agree that what we're saying is right, and he know. Say it one more time. Uh huh. You see that? He said if he was us, he would be saying what we're saying, but from a white man perspective. So that this is a white man. Let me tell you something. This white man know. He know what's going on. And his people are already saying it. What you think Donald Trump trying to do? See, and then say what? See, this man supports Donald Trump. And say Donald Trump is for what? And he, guess what? And Donald Trump is for white pride. Now, can you argue with that? Now, listen, now can you argue? Let me say something. Come on, brother. You, you pulling them out the woodwood. Now, let me say something. And y'all going to be shocked when I say this. This is why we say we prefer the white man's respect than his goddamn love. That's right. He agrees with us. He ain't love us. You think he love us? He love Donald Trump and what Donald Trump says. He agrees with deporting the Mexicans whose land this old, this is. He agrees with bringing back slavery to the 14th Amendment like what Donald Trump said. But, that's, that's what Donald Trump agrees with. You agree with him. Don't shake your head now, because I don't disagree with him. I want, I want white America to go full out into white power so we can finally be separate from you devils and be he. Now, you agree with what we say because it's the truth. I agree with you also. And we can respect each other and never have to murder and kill each other. You stay on your side of the fence, I stay on mine. But your Uncle Tom's spineless bastard leaders like Farrakhan will teach you to bow down and kiss and beg the white man. Your Uncle Tom stepping fetching T.D. Jakes and Jesse Jackson. Give me some more of them. My, what's the mayor in D.C. name? Muriel Bowser and even Alexander will teach you to beg the damn devil for love. I don't want your love, but you're going to respect me. And I can respect you. What's your name? James, I will respect you, James. I can respect that because you respect me and my plight for my people. And you understand it. James said, I agree with what you're, what you're saying. And if I was black, I would say the same thing too. Because I'm white and I believe we should be separate. I understand it. He is a credit to your race. He is exemplary to you white people. Because the vast majority of you all are wicked devils, man. James had to come up here and, and, and damn near safe face for all white people. Safe face. I don't want the white man love, man. To hell with his love. He's incapable of loving. Who does he love? He doesn't love anybody. No love the fishes, the ocean, nothing. But I do want your respect. You're going to respect me. You're going to see me in the street and know that I'm a son of the people you're whipped and murdered and raped and set on fire for fun. And one day you are going to pay for your goddamn crimes. Now, James, let me ask you something. Do you agree that one day your people should pay for what they did to mine? Why not? Say that again? For who? For, for who? Exactly. You fought the Civil War for, for a white man. So, so then, that has nothing to do with the 400 years of slavery that your people inflicted on mine. 
It's like, look. So wait, America is, hold on, hold on, hold on, you're fucking, all right, go ahead, James, go ahead. The Dutch Jews financed the slave trade. That's true, that's true. So how come, how come, how come the slave trade didn't build the Dutch country or the Jewish country? How come the slave trade built America? How come the slaves who the Dutch Jews financed didn't pick cotton in the Netherlands? They picked cotton right here, hold on, on the same grounds your forefathers fought civil war. That cotton bought your guns and your gunpowder. So my black lives helped you win the war. Right or wrong? So then, so then, hold on, let's get, hold on. Hold on, James, come on, stick with me. Hold on, James. We having a conversation out of respect. Normally I don't get up here and talk to no white man. But I understand the mutual respect and I could, under, I could appreciate that. You're damn right, I, I see you too. I see you too. You're about the only white man I talk to like this. Anybody else, I call him a filthy cockroach. But James, you are credit to them. You understand? So now understanding that, James, justice is justice. This has nothing to do with color. This has nothing to do with color, skin, or eyes. You could be purple with red dots. I couldn't care less. What your people have done to us was criminal, to say the least. It was atrocious. Shouldn't your people pay? Come on. We're paying right now. It's called white suicide. It's no, that's West not paying. That's not West. paying. You know why that's not paying? The West is dying. Well, that's true. Because that's true. That's that's the, the beginning of the downfall. Of multiculturalism. Listen, that's listen. Say it again. The white man took that poison of multiculturalism. The white man took the poison of multiculturalism. I'm gonna say it a different way. The white man enslaved blacks and Hispanics, and at the end of the slavery, did not know what to do with the slaves. Oh, the Spanish. That's, that's what, the, the Hispanics, not the Spanish. The, the, the native people of this land, who the, the, the Spanish-speaking white people conquered, they're called Hispanics, right? You didn't take on multiculturalism. You stole people and kept their children, and didn't know what to do with all these children running around in your house. So now, James, you're running from the question, James. Okay, let me put it to you this way. Osama bin Laden, right? Forget the conspiracy theories. What's on the books? He was behind the World Trade Center bombing. Should he pay? Should he? Was it right that he was put to death for killing 3,000 of your people, disrupting the economy, terrorizing America? Let's forget the conspiracy theories. What's on the books is that Osama bin Laden was behind the Trade Center bombing. Let's stay, let's stay with that fact. That was justice. Give James a hand. It's a good answer. Adolf Hitler committed suicide, right? Maybe. Forget conspiracy theories. Let's stay with what's on the books. For all the murder he did of the Jewish man, whether it's six million, one million, ten, who cares? If he was caught, should he be should he be forced to pay for his crimes? Is that justice? Give him another hand. <laughs> hold on, hold on, James. I ain't done. I ain't done. You see, black people talk different than white people. We build up, we dance, we did it bop, we build a point. You all built a whole industry off it. It's called entertainment. Now listen, 400 years ago. 600 years ago, your people came to this land and found the native Indians, killed them, murdered them, stole their land. Then when they couldn't perform for you, you went and got the so-called Negro slaves. Hold on, hold on, hold on, James. This is on the books. Forget conspiracy theory. Because conspiracy theory is a cop-out. It's a cop-out. The North American Indians died from the disease, not in general. Who brought the diseases? Who brought the diseases? Syphilis is a disease you get from having sex with animals that the Europeans brought from six months of a voyage on a ship. They, they brought old world diseases to the new world. What is, what, what is you talking about? I talk to you like a nigga. What is you talking about? No, forget about that. 400 years of slavery, James. Murder and lynching at will for fun. We picked your cotton. We gave you an economy. We helped you build the greatest empire on the face of the earth. Hold on, James. And you enslaved our people. Your forefathers murdered our people, raped our women, 
colors from trees. Should somebody pay for it, James? James, you're a devil, man! I done lost respect for you, James! What's happening in Africa? Should somebody pay for what's happening in Africa? Should somebody pay? Should somebody pay for what's happening in Africa? So how come everybody got to pay for every other goddamn race? But when it comes to black people and Hispanic people, nobody got to pay. How come? How come, James? James. James, I'm giving you one last chance for me to, to address you respectfully. For the 400 years of, answer the question first, so I can decide if you're a respectful white man or if you're a devil like the rest of your race. For 400 years of slavery and oppression of black people, after a slave trade, you got that wench named Margaret Sanger. Hold the sign up. Saparia, hold that sign. I know you know, but other people watching because I'm talking to a white man. They respect you. And I'm going to teach them that they should not respect you based on your answer. They got a white wench in the corner there in black and white called Margaret Sanger. Those of you who don't know, she advised Hitler on the concentration camps. The American government paid her to develop a plan for human genocide. You know why? Because they gave Marcus Garvey money to put us on ships and send us back. That failed. And they said, these Negroes walking around, we need them dead. And that was the eugenics program. Today it's known as Planned Parenthood. Your abortion clinics is a war on your babies. And the white man did it. Should somebody pay for innocent black babies dying, James? James, well now, for 400 years of slavery, should your people pay for what you did to us? James, be honest now. Listen, resist your flesh. I know your flesh wanted to be the devil. White man died thousands of deaths in the Civil War, so we paid. So, so then where's my empire from your death? That's right. Where's my national Listen, capital from your death? Listen, this our, is my empire? How can it be our country our when country. my brothers and sisters are called illegal immigrants? Damn right. Damn right. How can it be my country when my brothers and sisters are called illegal immigrants? It cannot be, James, you're being the devil now. My people, listen, my people were bought from West Africa. Bananas are sold in Walgreens. Is there a goddamn banana tree growing across the street? Because you buy something over there, don't mean it comes from there. Our people are the real Jews of the Bible. Now, James, I know you're skillful in evading justice. Answer the question, James. Should, should white people pay for what they did to blacks and Hispanic people? That's another, that's another question. Answer the first question, James. Why don't you want to answer the first question? Why is it? Because you're guilty. Give me Genesis 4 and 12. 4 and, 4 and 12. Because you're guilty. You're guilty, James. And you're proven to be a devil. You know what devil is? You know what devil means? You know what devil means? What devil means? What does the word devil mean? It means Satan. No. It, it, okay. okay, come on. Devil means deceiver. That's right. That's a literal translation. You can take that to the bank. And you are a deceiver. You are a deceiver, James. If Osama bin Laden paid, America must pay. If the Germans are paying today, you hunt down ex-Nazi soldiers in a goddamn wheelchair with an oxygen tank to take them to court for some holocaust that ain't even God's people. Obama just signed a bill to pay 12 million goddamn dollars to the, the survivors of the Holocaust. When you got survivors of the only Holocaust walking around DC, walking around Memphis, walking around St. Louis, trying to cross the goddamn border, and we ain't got a black cent. He got the survivor of the only true Holocaust in a bed with him. That Michelle Obama is the daughter of a slave. Now! Should the white man pay for slavery? Should the white man pay for slavery? Should the white man pay for slavery? Nah, he ain't pay for it yet. Hold on, give me, give me Revelations 13, 9 and 10. Give me that right there. Give me that right there, see? You're getting some help now. You're getting some help now. You're getting some recruiting now. You ain't listening to him? I might have some respect for you now. 
How have you paid? How have you paid? White, I just told you, white man's culture is dying. That's not, listen, that's not paying for slavery. Right. You know what you did to us? You know that black people don't even know who they are? Right. I'm gonna ask some black people out here. Brother, can I put you on the spot? I know, I see it was the ground, brother. This ain't school, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't gonna do you that, brother. Let me ask you an honest question. And this ain't to make a fool of nobody, cause you my brother and I was just, I was out there just like you. What's your nationality? No problem. Brother, what's your nationality? African American. Sister, can I ask you a question? What's your nationality? African American. Brother, some last person, one more. Brother, what's your nationality? Hebrew Israelite. Hebrew Israelite. Yeah, right. Now, when did you find out you were a Hebrew Israelite? A year ago. Before a year ago, what was your nationality? What would you say? African American. African American. African America. Two continents. America got 52 states, Africa got over 50 different tribes. So you mean to tell me we are a mixture of 100 different tribes on two different continents named after two white men, Leo Scipius Africanus and Amerigo Vespucci? That's my nationality? Or is that what you told me after 400 years? Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. It's good. That's all you got to say, it's good. That's all you got to say, that's good. You people are devils, man. You devils. Even though even your prison system would return your ID after you serve your time. But you stole my ID and you walk out like you are me. Now, should somebody pay for that? I'm gonna let God answer it since you can't. Revelations 13 and 9, nice and loud. Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. If any man got understanding, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity. He that what? He that leadeth into captivity. He that does what? Lead him into captivity. You gotta what? What you gotta do? You gotta go. Gotta go the Bible work. says, he that leadeth into captivity. Your people led us into captivity. You stole us, you chained us, and you put us into captivity. Africans sold the Jews. The real Jews are black people. Africans sold Jews to the white man on Arab ships to build America. And you led us into captivity. Read again. He that leadeth into captivity. Go ahead. Shall go into captivity. Shall what? Go into captivity. Shall what? Go into captivity. Now thanks be to God. Justice does not depend on James. And you see why we can't go to the white man for justice. So goddamn Farrakhan and nation of Islam. Justice or else? You gonna beg this man for justice? A man who gonna shake his head and say, that's good, that's good, that's good. The white man is the goddamn devil the Bible speaks of. He that leads into captivity shall go into captivity. You are going into chains. Move on. But white man. He that kills him with a sword. He that what? He that kills him with a sword. He that what? He that kills him with a sword. All your technology you used to kill us. You used to murder us. You used to inflict us. In the 1940s and 50s, you inflicted 600 black men with syphilis virus in a government funded experiment. All your technology you used to kill us and murder us and enslave us. And he that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. God is going to bathe the streets of America in the blood of you, James, and your children, and your wives. You understand? I don't want your love. I want the day when I can walk you like a dog in slavery, when I can say, James, get out in the field and pick my goddamn cotton before I whip the skin off your back. Read again. He that killed with the sword. But we killed with the sword. You killed with the sword. You killed everyone with the sword. You dropped bombs at Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Who did that? Africans? Huh? Slaves? Who did that? The white man did it. You sent your damn criminals from England down to a penal colony in Australia. 
and murdered the Aborigines. You know what the white man did? He made a law that said that Aborigines were flora and fauna. He made people into plants so it was legal to kill them. You are devil. Give me Genesis 4 quickly. Quickly, man. Quickly. You're the devil the Bible speaks of. The scripture says resist the devil and he will flee. Lamar Odom had found the school and got a fly, he'd still be alive. Right. Whitney Houston found the school and got a fly, she'd still be alive. She and her daughter. Last year, Bobby Brown stood right there, heard this message, and dropped a knot of cash in this bucket, because he knows it's the damn truth. But black men, this is what you gotta understand. You ain't dead yet. You black men and black women, you all ain't dead yet. And this school stays open 24-7. You come here and learn the truth and save your goddamn life. So you ain't got to go to court to beg a white man like James for justice. Because let me show you what James really is. Give me Genesis 4 and 12. Genesis chapter 4, verse 12. When thou tellest the ground, it shall be, it shall not hit forth yield unto thee her strength. This is God's curse to Cain. God told Cain because he killed Abel when he tilled the ground, the ground will not produce for him. That's why America got to go to every country and steal their resources, steal their corn, steal their flour, steal their oil, because this don't give nothing to the white man. And let me show you another thing God said about the white man. Go ahead. A fugitive. A what? A fugitive. A what? A fugitive. Who knows what the word fugitive means? Brother, you ain't giving my answer yet. What does the word fugitive mean? Come on. What does the word fugitive mean? Come on, man. Somebody tell me what does the word fugitive mean? Who knows? Huh? Brother, fugitive. Somebody running from something. Running from the law. Like that devil hall tale when we opened up this Bible. Read it again. A fugitive. A fugitive. Go ahead. And a vagabond. Uh -huh. Shall thou be in the earth? God said a white man would be a fugitive and a vagabond. He is a fugitive. You killed and murdered everybody and you don't want to pay for it. You are a goddamn fugitive. And ain't no problem. God gonna put you devils to death, man. And I pray for the day. I pray the day that God curses your womb with an eternal period and black blood runs out your damn womb. May you get pregnant and give birth to a dinosaur, you wicked wench. Read it again. A fugitive and a vagabond shall thou, shall thou be in the earth. Shall thou be in the earth, a vagabond. You know what a vagabond is? I'm going to tell you. A vagabond is somebody who does not have a home. Like the white man is the real American. The real Americans are the native Indians. They were here first. Like the white man is an Australian. The aborigines are Australian. They were there first. The white man is South African. The, the, the African is a South African. They were there first. I'm a, I'm a hippie to something. The white man got a movie coming out with Matt Damon and old Saddam might call what? The Earthling? The Martian. How can he be a goddamn Martian and he from Earth? You, you, come on. Come on. And, and, the, and the white man bring the movie out just when they said what? We found life on Mars. There ain't no life. You know why? Because he killed them just like he killed the native Indians. If there's aliens in space, they're either dead, hooked on crack, homosexuals, or in jail. Because the white man is the devil the Bible speaks of. You kept him the shock of powerful hand, man. You understand? That's what, listen, man, what, what you just witnessed was an execution. Like you, like, let me tell you something. A spiritual execution. When I days I work hard on the job. Smart manhood.